Ah. Well, guys, it's time for my first car related video. Yeah, that's right. Got my short rim intake. Let's go. Oh, fuck. We got all the all the parts. Filter. Uh, this junk, uh, and uh, apparently a piece of cardboard. But anyways, I'm gonna get this installed. Might record some of it, might not. But I'm gonna do a before and after to see the sound difference. And, well, that's about it. See you then. Alright, so um, I'm gonna get started here. It's kinda hot out, so it's gonna be not fun, but I'm gonna get it done. Got the instructions. I'm not gonna record the whole process, but hopefully I can kind of show you all a basic idea of what I'm gonna do. So, I guess the first thing, gotta remove this right here gotta unclip that and I guess it comes out of here that wasn't so hard shoot the instructions we'll put those right in the engine for safety or maybe not uh, stupid wind so. gotta unclip this this off. That was pretty easy. Go put this in the car. Put that on the floor because we don't need it yet. This is not going to be a very good video, so please excuse that. All right, so. I'm gonna need a ratchet set, so I'll go get that, and I'll be back. All right, got the ratchet. Now I gotta remove, I believe, that bolt right there, and the one down in there, and once I get that done, I will come back and take the box off. So, see y'all then. All right, um, so I finally got the stupid ass box out. It was kind of a pain because I kept getting stuck on stuff when I actually got it loose, but you get it eventually. I just kind of messed with it a lot, manhandled it until it came out. It came out. So now I um, have to take the battery out, so I guess I'll do that. And once that's done, I'll show you all what I have to do next. Alright, please excuse the dumbass seagulls. Finally got the battery out, and now have to get that tube out right there. That tube, which might be kind of a pain because I, I think I stripped the screw, but I'll, I'll get it out one way or another. So I'll uh, come back when I've got that done, and then I guess I'll keep going. Hey, so finally got this dumbass tube out. Since I stripped the screw. You probably see if it'll focus. I stripped the screw, so just used good old vice grips, uh, channel locks, whatever those things are, and ripped it out by that screw right there. Don't think I'll be reusing that, anyways, because that's what the new intake is for. If I need to put the old one back on for some reason, I'll get a new clamp. So that seems to be the majority of the old stuff taken out. Now I gotta do the rest of the stuff, remove coolant and crankcase plenum. So I'll do that and I'll come back and I've got that done. Alrighty, so I got that thing out over there, whatever that thing is, I don't know what the terminology is but got that out and I got this tube installed and next step is to take the mass airflow sensor off the old intake and put it on the intake tube and then after that basically installing the new one so pretty um it's 
going pretty good. And it's been a little while because there's been a few complications and it's kind of hot as shit out here, but you know, other than that, it's been going pretty well and I'll be back with another update soon. All right, got the mass airflow sensor installed in the tube. Now it's gotta put this thing on. So I'm not gonna say what it looks like, but I think you guys can guess. So, come back when I've got that installed. All right, I got the tube installed back there and I got the intake pipe right there. Next, I gotta install a bracket that goes between that bolt and between that little bracket that's sticking out on the tube. And so I'll do that. I'll come back when I'm done with that. All right. All right, I've got the uh, thing all installed, the bracket and the mount. And now I gotta put the battery back in and install the filter and a few other little things. And I think that'll be it. And then we can do a little sound comparison and see what it sounds like. So I'll be back when the battery's in. All right. Got my battery all put in except for this thing. I put the radio code in just to make sure that that's all good. And just as a, uh, a little side tangent, I fucking hate this thing. This is the most piece of shit battery holder probably in the entire automotive industry. Like, this is a piece of fucking shit. And if you have one of these, I'm sorry for you. So, I'm gonna install that. And then do whatever else I need to do. I don't think I have to do much more. Let me check the instructions. Instructions say, after I have to put the battery on, have to put a hose on, and put the filter on, and that's about it. So I'll be back when I've got the tube and filter on. I'll show you the finished product. Well, that should be everything. The only thing I have left to do to put this on last finishing touch so I'm gonna about to do that and there we go now it looks nice although there is one more thing to do and I'm about to do that we got to make sure it runs and it does and it sounds fucking awesome bro I'll get a driving clip of it later, but it is, it is nice. And it runs too. That was the most important thing. It does still run, which is nice, but there we go. Thumbs up from me. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Gotta put the sticker on the car so everyone knows I bought an overpriced piece of pipe. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so fun, dude. This is gonna be great. Sound clips coming soon, later in the video, probably after this one, so keep watching. So, that's about it for the video, really. My final thoughts, I mean, 
I'm glad I bought it. It was worth every penny because, I mean, it was not be around the bush here. It probably doesn't really add any horsepower to it, but it improves the driving experience a lot. It makes it feel, you know, a lot better to drive. It's a lot more fun. It takes it from just, you know, a boring old Civic to a, at least a somewhat fun thing to drive. And it, it sounds really good. The video doesn't really do it justice. You have to see it or hear it in person. It sounds really, really good. But other than that, I mean, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I mean, I know it probably wasn't the best uh, video on this. Um, but I tried to include sound clips because I uh, didn't really see any other videos on YouTube with the R18 engine Civics that had good sound clips from before and after. So I tried to provide that. So, I guess that's about it. I um, hope you guys enjoy the video, and y'all have a nice day.